It's approaching the hour of one on the 27th of September 2023 and I'm uploading for the interest, I suppose, of the European Parliamentarians and the Department of Housing, Heritage, Local Government, Local Government and um, Heritage, actually. Um, as I've been documenting, there's been a few failings occurring against my contributions to the state and there have been individuals I think um, imposing upon my portfolio that have disrespected the constitution and the church and children in this country and as an educator as a mother I have a huge concern that this is a cycle that's continuing and being perpetuated and unfortunately being facilitated. Now the latest conundrum um, I have before me is what they have presented its a, its housing assistance payment card and it was issued in 2019. Now, as I've mentioned, um, there are individuals convoluting awful uh, pieces of disinformation that are not credit worthy and that aren't substantiated um, by Roy Protocol or by the legal system. Um, so this card that I have in my name um, due to farm fraud and farm crime occurring on my marital property home in Tuberty Loud Fort um, as of the 20, 2015, as of the 30th of 2015, and my other farm holding in Stax Mountain, Kilflin, are all being subjected to crime. Now, um, there is an issue with regard to the pandemic that has occurred as a consequence of my experiences and the social reform and social justice that has originated um, from pandemic COVID-19. And I might also add the Britain um, legislative Britain circumstance um, with Brexit, the British circumstance with Brexit. So this issue is ongoing and I'm after providing my details for noteworthy, upstanding um, representatives of democracy that have respect for family values and that have respect for democracy. Um, there is a conflict of interest, I suppose, between political agendas that are offending Roy Protocol and that are offending the Constitution and the Church and implicating the Church in circumstances that are quite dishonourable and disrespectful. So getting back to the family unit and the family values, all mothers out there, we all have a right to our family and we all have a right to our entitlements and so on and so forth. Um, there are obligations that every woman is entitled to, whether you're a professional property owner, whether you're of right protocol or whether you're just a stay at home mother or a homemaker. So this issue is with regard to the ongoing theft and fraud I'm experiencing by individuals that have no entitlement to create intellectual property for me. Now, they've been offending my privacy at 18 Rock Street, where I had the good fortune to have a privacy to a certain level um, without um, vile behaviour um, being too um, escalated but still present. Um, that was all reported to the relevant bodies, handwritten formally and publicised online as well. Uh, Facebook has a copy of this information. Now RTB and the Kerry County Council, um, it's not a private letting arrangement, it's a County Council housing department issue and this damage that I experienced due to cheap flooring is quite expensive that's after causing me a concussion and it's quite uncomfortable as well as you can see my cheek is after being swollen and there are women out there that have also suffered as a consequence of people that haven't respected family values family units and the obligations to nuptials that we all take on when we decide to um, share our lives or our values with another person and bring life into this world. So these people that are being irresponsible with the constitution and taking credit for my creative intellectual property um, are of a cycle of corruption that are disrespecting this country and disrespecting the departments that I have served. So I have been on the workforce since 2003, even before then, actually, but officially since 2003 as a qualified professional. And um, there is an issue with uh, people uh, associating themselves with uh, my creative intellectual property that has culminated as COVID-19. Now, that's a worldwide 
circumstance and I'm in a small town that's of obstruction and corruption and uh, violations and offence against COVID-19 protocol and they haven't upheld the values of the constitution and they're still uh, freeloading from my creative intellectual property and taking credit for COVID-19 and monetizing and exploiting from my um, my developments as a recovery advocate, as a mental health practitioner and as an educator. Now, these people have um, exploited from a very huge cause that I have been working towards since 2006. And that's very serious in a small town that um, that be denigrated to more fraud. Um, the issue of fraud from this circumstance that I have experienced since 2006 um, is ongoing and these people have no entitlement. So I'm just curious how the House of Oireachtas members feel about housing assisting payments of the local governing bodies and the obligations I suppose within the short term period to make a long term arrangement of uh, safety of you know housing um, tenable or possible for a property owner experiencing farm crime um, with my protocol also to my um, my name as well. So the state has benefited from my endeavours and initiatives and there are people that are uh, claiming um, eviction causes at 18 Rock Street where there has been crime facilitated and as I keep reiterating I'm of crime prevention so the point of the matter is there is reparation um, an issue that these people are trying to avoid with false claims about eviction and RTB with the county council local governing body issue matter where there are no other individuals supposed to have been in my proximity that have already been guilty of crimes against the the constitution so in that micro circumstance there's the micro macro issue of um this being an imf ecb matter also um those that have been of uh less than credit worthy um entanglements with wealth that doesn't um, belong to their name or that have coveted that have implicated then uh, the church of um, my faith and my nuptials into this circumstance um, is a bit is a bit unfathomable um, people speaking about the church and holding up church values and constitutional law and then doing the same criminal activity against the constitution and the church prior to uh, the crime prevention and social justice reform that originated from my service to the state since 2003 to the present date and my research and recovery as of 2006. So there's an issue going on of evasion and uh, false claims uh, in this small community um, that's been tarnished and tarred with uh, crimes against the constitution and the church that I have single-handedly addressed and resolved and that has been offended with more creative intellectual property theft. Um, my experience of strengths and hopes with fellowships um, far and near at home and abroad um, are being offended the traditions, the steps, the values, the ethos of recovery. That is what it was called. It was called Recovery 2019. And I'm a recovery advocate, mental health practitioner, educator and mother experiencing um, individuals monetizing and working under the premise and guise of private companies um, that aren't actually entitled, authorized or permitted to be using the data information or, or any um, property of my um, patronage and the protocol that it's guarded or guided by or respected of from my name. So there's an issue that I'm bringing to the attention of the European Court of Human Rights. The matters in Tralee have caused upset and disharmony and there's a cycle continuing with bad publicity and poor 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 PR um, that isn't reliable now any threats to life any you know harms that have already happened that would be exacerbated as a consequence of people coveting from me and espousing church values with uh, offences against the Vatican I have huge concerns for the mental well-being of people that would bite the hand that has fed like these people are only out of this uh, disastrous uh, feeling that they've caused only within a short period of time and they're still pounding on with the problems and that's not good. So 
as a humanitarian, as a pacifist and as a peacekeeper, uh, I'm raising these issues for the interests of the European parliamentarians. Um, the social reform that has come from me and the social justice reform that has come from me is not uh, safeguarded by criminals or asbos or whatever they want to consider them, offenders against the state, enemies against the state and offenders against the constitution. Um, Recovery 2019 is of my creative intellectual property as of 2006 and um, the IMF and the ECB um, I'm raising the huge awareness of how much um, covetness and crime I'm experiencing as a mother as a property owner as a you know qualified professional um the state has been aware of the crimes i've experienced and the crimes that i've prevented and um, political agendas are in respect of democracy i would hope and the you know the wrongdoings have to be corrected and the people that are responsible for abnormal behavior or misconduct or uh, confusion about their identity with other people's portfolios that have already um, debts owing to my name for defamation since 2006 those people guilty of cybercrime as I've mentioned my online accounts and my online data and information have all been interfered with to um, cause offence to my identity so these issues are ongoing and this HAPS card is for the interests of um, I suppose the housing minister uh, there's a damage done to my face as a consequence of poor conditions and damages to um, my um, my well-being being orchestrated by people hoping to live off my creative intellectual property. So in the best interest of integrity uh, with regard to health and well-being, Recovery 2019 is being denigrated and disrespected and unfortunately that does not have the support of my humanitarian values that is responsible for all of these circumstances. So those that are implicating the church, disrespecting my nuptials and my family unit, or threatening the peace, are threatening the success of what I have initiated as a humanitarian, um, and I suppose as a servant of the state with the royal crown. But uh, anyway, in the best interests of society and progress, um, I'd like this matter addressed. There was no um, contact with RTB. It's a residential tenancy board, it's called. Um, there is no communication process of the sort with this establishment in Ireland and this card and the card holder being this person. And neither is there grounds for eviction. So as a farm holder that is experiencing farm crime, people coveting from Sax Mountain property of my uh, name are not welcome on my farms, nor are they um, designated to discuss any developments on my farms in any uh, privatised or public um, manner in monetary or exploitative gain. So I just really hope that people's homes aren't being put at risk with more um, misconduct. Um, the Housing Minister, I have my details online, it would be really outstanding if the wrongdoings could be corrected. Um, this card um, is after incurring debts and damages and the legalities of the circumstances around my son is still um, an outstanding issue. It still hasn't been addressed, even though I've contacted the Ombudsman for Children since 2017. So the evasion issue is irresponsible and the IMF and the ECB, I'm just raising it for the best interests of everybody involved um, in a small town in Tralee where there's been a tarnished uh, reputation um, caused against the credibility of good practice. Um, my contributions have been worldwide. Um, it's namely called COVID-19. So uh, the issue with regard to Brexit as well, you see, you know, it, it, it's a, a small town issue with a uh, big ambition about uh, creative intellectual property theft that I'm personally responsible for. So just as a final note, Housing Minister, um, I'm a property owner of Royal Protocol and my son, as I said, there's no lawful care order in place and my child is legally missing. So all of these matters are bringing down the level of um, honourability, respect and integrity for the developments of recovery that 
my humanitarianism initiated in society. And I, I hate to say, but anybody working with the same um, tactics of those that have been fouling on um, society, unfortunately, are unsafe contenders for um, successful outcomes. So it's a sad sign of the times.